Let's go. It's your man Mike Bowens coming to you once again live and direct. Listen, I'm coming to you with another powerful message. This message is entitled Keep the Spark Alive. This is a relationship video. So hear me. Right? Let's go back to when you first fell in love. Let's go back to the moment when you had butterflies. And maybe you still get butterflies. But you could become so used to a person that you almost take them for granted. When was the last time you got up early and just made your wife or made your husband some breakfast? And say, you know what, baby, here you go. Just because I love you. When's the last time you, you ran them a bubble bath? Right? When's the last time you wrote them a love note? When's the last time you gave them some flowers? When's the last time you said, you know what? You you rest, I watch the kids. You take a break. When's the last time you just walked and held hands? You know, it's about keeping that spark alive. And you want that spark to turn into a flame. Flame of love. You know, it's, you're better for it. Your spouse is better for it. Your kids are better for it. Your family members are better for it. Your neighbors are better for it. The cat's better for it. The dog's better for it. You know, people at your job is better for it. Because you can you can see when people are not happy at home. Because it comes out of them when they go to work. Some people you talk to, hello, they're like, ah. Another day, different day, same. You know, they're just angry. They're upset when, when, you, when you got that flame of love burning through you because you're happy at home. When you go to the grocery store, you whistle while you're going to the grocery store. You're like, <laughs> just getting some oranges. You know, you go to the, you know, you go down the toll booth, and the person at the toll booth is upset because the job that they pick or whatever, they want to take it out on you. It don't even bother you. You're like, okay, have a wonderful day, because you you taking care of business at home, and and I believe that nothing grows right without it being watered and planted that's a principle that god gave to us in the genesis in, in the book of genesis in the garden of eden water only came down water didn't come down water grew up from the ground up until man was put there so he can um watch over the land and manage it same thing with a relationship you must manage your relationship when, when your spouse is getting antsy and they feel like they need to go on a vacation, you know, I've been guilty of that in the past. Sometimes I get so locked in with work. I'm, I'm zoning, I'm zoning, I'm zoning. And my wife could be telling me, listen, I need to go on vacation. I need to go. I need to get a break. And I'm like, okay, snap out of it. Yes, we need to do that because we must maintain that spark. We must maintain that flame. We must keep that spark alive because you can't just work, 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 work. And that you don't have no time for each other. And you can't just have time for each other and not work. It's a balance. And, you know, what I have learned to do over the years, and more specifically even now so, is to set up, just like I do everything else, a schedule, a planner, to have times when we're going to go on vacation. Plan it out, write it out, where we're going to go, what hotel, what state, what, what we're going to do. You know, who's going to watch the kids or some vacations, we all go together. And, and, and let's make this happen because we must do what we must do to keep that spark alive. Because there's no greater feeling than being in love. Mm, I feel like God created us to be in love and to love one another. You know, it's a beautiful thing to walk through the house and see my wife and just smile at her like I've met her for the first time. Like, yeah, girl. <laughs> You don't even know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you got that feeling as opposed to looking at her like this. She just get on my nerves. And you just walking, talking to the wind. You just mad. You talking to the wind. She get on my nerves. Every time I see her, she would complain about something. She want to do something. It's like, why live in your existence bitter? Why live in your existence upset? Why live in your existence, your current existence, your current state mad when it's a choice to be happy and so it's doing the little things that keeps the spark alive like you know what your woman likes so why don't you do it without her having to ask you you know what your man likes for you to do for him why don't you just do it without him asking when the last time you just went to him and, and gave him a foot 
Rob, if that's what he likes. I don't know. Some people's feet are not too culture. But you know what I'm saying. If it's your man's feet and it's not that culture, it's your man. So, hey. Hey, baby, let's go to the spa. Well, let's get these nails clipped up. Let me sand those feet. Sand those bunions. Let me hook you up. Let me, let me. It's my man. It's my feet. He may have bunions, but I'm going to take care of those bunions. He may have some corns, but I'm going to take care of them corns. Right? Right? Whatever. It's, it's what you got to do because that's who you with. You know, love the one you with. And so keeping that spark alive helps makes, makes for a healthy relationship. It's like plants. You look at plants and they start to wither away. You know, plants are have life in them. They're human organisms. I mean, not human organisms. They are organisms that are alive. And so when they start to wither and look like they're withering away, it's something that's not right. Either they're not getting enough nutrients and vitamins, they're not getting enough water, they're not getting enough sunlight. Or it could be a combination of more than one thing. It's the same thing with a human relationship. When you're with your husband and with your wife, when they're withdrawing from you, when they seem quiet, not their normal self, it's something that is not being nurtured. It's something that is not being watered. It's something that is not going inside of them, that's reaching them the way that it needs to be reached reach so that they can grow, so that they can blossom. So when they, you see them, they smile, show you all teeth. <laughs> they're just happy, you know what I'm saying? And so it's important to keep that spark alive. It's important to do the things that brought you together in the first place to take your relationship from one level to the next, to the next, to the next. You know, you should grow closer as the years go and not further apart as the years go. I hope this message inspires somebody out there to keep the spark alive in their relationship. Don't get so busy with work. Don't get so busy with your ambition. Don't get so busy with even ministry work that you forget about the person who God put in your life from day one. Until next time, this is your man Mike Bowens saying be blessed.